Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, in this tutorial we are going to create a elegant block slideshow, like this. So let's start it. First create a new composition 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, and it's called main comp. Now create one more composition, it's called placeholder 1. Then place your image into the placeholder 1 comp. And resize your image if required. Now create one more comp again, and it's call image 1. You are free to use any name. Now create a new white solid layer. And apply grid effect. Change the corner according to your choice. I want 6 block horizontally and 4 vertically. Select solid layer and hit T for opacity, and change opacity around 10%. Now duplicate the solid layer, then select bottom solid layer and change opacity around 20%. Then create a new white solid layer, it's called circle. Place this layer between both grid layers. Now apply circle effect on this layer and resize your circle layer like this. Then go to effect control panel, and check invert circle, and change color black. Here you can see the effect. Select circle layer and apply motion tile effect. Increase output width and output height. Here you can see this dot line does not touch the point. So resize the circle layer like this. Now we want this dot line also touch the vertical point. So resize this circle layer vertically. So it's look like this. Select all three layer and pre-compose them. Also check move all attribute into the new composition, and it's called grid comp. Now drag placeholder 1 comp into the image 1 timer line. Select grid layer and change blending mode normal to add. Now create a new adjustment layer and move below the grid layer. Then search transform effect and apply on adjustment layer. Go to the first frame on timeline and add keyframe on scale. And change amount around 140. Then go to around 10 second and change scale amount 100. Now go to project window and create a new composition. It's called graphic 1. Then drag image 1 come into the graphic 1 composition. Duplicate this image one comma layer, so many times as the box is showing in our grid. Here we have 24 boxes, so we will duplicate image one comp 24 times. Select all layer and make 3D. Also turn on motion blur. Now select first image one layer. Then select Rectangle Tool, and create a mask on this box like this. Turn on this solo icon so you can easily see the effect. 
Now select second layer and turn on solo icon, and create a mask on second box. Do the same adjustment on all boxes, it's take too much time, I am skipping this part, so that you don't have to wait. After creating all mask, it's look like this. Also turn off all solo icon. Now we want to animate this, so create a new camera. I am using 35mm camera presets. Then select all image 1 comp layers. And hit P for position. Go to 1 and half second forward and add keyframe. Then go to first frame of time align. And move the Z position until our image is out of the camera. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now we want some random effect. Move the all keyframes offset randomly. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. Now create one more composition, and it's called slide 1. Drag graphic 1 composition into the slide 1 timeline. Select graphic 1, layer and hit T for opacity, and change opacity 0%, then go to 3 second forward and change opacity 100%. Now duplicate this graphic 1 com. And search fast blur effect. And change blurriness 100, also check repeat edge pixels. Move this layer few frame forward. Duplicate again this graphic com layer, move little forward, also delete first blur effect, and search gradient ramp effect and apply on this layer. Change the color as you like, I am just showing you example. Change the blending mode normal to overlay. Now duplicate again this graphic comp, and move little forward. And delete the gradient ramp effect. Now search drop shadow effect, and change distance 20, and softness 35. Now again duplicate this layer, and change the direction around 240. Perfect, it's look good to me. You can move keyframes anytime according to your choice. Now drag light leaks footage into the timeline. And change blending mode normal to soft light, and opacity around 30%. Now add some text elements, I am typing my channel name, you are free to use any name. Open text layer, then go to animate and select opacity, turn down opacity 0%. Then open range select 1, then go to around 2 second forward. Add a key point on start, then go to few frame forward and change amount 100%. Now go to advance and turn on randomize order.
perfect, it's look good to me. Now we can add one more thing, select top graphic one layer, then select rectangle tool, and create a mask around the box. You can randomly create a mask around some boxes. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.